think people feared that it would be bad and the way the RBI and the MPC had acted, it uh, you know, seemed like we were preparing ourselves for a rough number. Uh, was the message in that number broadly that, uh, you know, generalized inflation is here, or at least it is becoming more generalized than what one would have assumed a few months back, uh, and pressures are no longer just coming from food and fuel? Yes, absolutely. Uh, in fact, I would say that the year-on-year -year number was 7.8. But if you look at the sequential momentum, you know, which technically we call the quarter-on-quarter -quarter annualized, was actually 9%. So it was even higher than the number we saw, uh, you know, come out yesterday. Uh, across the board pressures, food, fuel, core, and interestingly, if you sort of pass through the details, you also realize that this is not the end of it. As in, there's going to be a lot of upward pressure even now uh, because a lot of the pass through still remains, uh, you know, it still is not complete. So this, you know, is a problem number. I must say here that the next two months readings, you know, May and June will be lower. You know, it'll probably be closer to seven and not 7.8 simply because of base effects. And then once, you know, May and June have passed, then the numbers could jump back up again. So, you know, don't get very comforted uh, just because May and June will come, come out lower.